Aaron, did you feel extra pressure to try to hit 62 here at home in front of the fans? Oh, no pressure. No pressure. Um, you know, it'd be nice to, you know, hit it at home and, you know, do something special like that for the home fans. But, you know, end of the day, you know, I got a job to do. I got, you know, at bats getting ready for the postseason. So, um, you know, it didn't happen, but, you know, the season's not over yet. Has this process been exhausting as you've been chasing history? It's just about exhausting as every other <laughs> every other season playing 162 games. It's a long season, and, you know, thankfully we're in a position right now where we won a division, so these, you know, last couple games we can kind of line ourselves up and get ourselves ready for the postseason. So, you know, it's just, just another year, that's for sure. Do you expect to play every game in Texas, or do you think you could benefit from a day off? Well, I'd like to play every day, maybe not both the doubleheader games, but um, you know, we got quite a few games, quite a few days off after the season for the wild card and you know, leading up to the DS, so you know, that's, when, that's when I'll kind of rest right there. Aaron, do you appreciate the affection that was shown to you by the fans during this final homestand? Oh, it's incredible. You know, like I said, Yankee fans are the, you know, the best out there, and they continue to show the support, you know, day in and day out. And then even for this process, you know, they're on their feet, they're standing. It's you can hear a pin drop before the pitch is thrown. It's a pretty, pretty cool moment, and they're just kind of gearing us all up for the postseason. That's for sure. How do you stay even keel and not get frustrated? Frustrated with, with what? Just with the pursuit of, for the record, with the fact that there's a lot of pressure coming from different places. You know, this is it's a good place to be. You know, um, very few people get this opportunity or get a chance to do this, and for me to do it, you know, in a Yankee uniform and you know, be tied with Roger Maris, that's that's a special feat right there. And it would have been nice to do it at, do it at home here for the fans, but. Now, like I said, we still got four more games. You know, my teammates, you know, keep me humble and keep me under control. So it's, uh, you know, I kind of rely on them. Has it been difficult not to know when a strike or ball is going to come when you're stepping into the batter's box? Not really. You know, it's, it's part of the game. You know, there's stretches throughout this year where, you know, I had a couple of bats where you really don't get too much to too much to hit and you know pitchers kind of nibble a little bit but that just that just comes with the territory you know it's it's my job to you know not be an umpire it's my job to go up there and hit so you know when I get a pitch to hit you know I got to drive it and if I don't you know pass the baton you know especially in a game today you know, I had a couple opportunities to you know especially the bases loaded drive some runs in and you know, even try to get a rally going and you know just missed out chased a couple pitches but you know and it's got to pass the baton and hope the guy behind you picks you up. I know a lot of focus has been on 62. Would it be an honor for you to get the triple crown? Yeah, that, that triple crown would be amazing, you know, but I think we're still still a long way from that. So we'll, uh, we'll see how these next four games go. Is it a little weird when the fans make you the focus rather than whatever's happening for the team at that moment? You just kind of you got to block it out, you know. You appreciate it and you know feel it and hear it as you walk up to the plate. But when you step in a box, it's you know it's it's time to do it, do your job. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, don't try to get caught up in the moment and just reflect it back to your teammates and just say, hey, I got a job to do. I'm trying to help the team win the game. That's why everybody's you know standing right now. So you know, when I had that mindset, it's kind of easy to block out all that.